terrifying moment. Ukrainian armored vehicles destroy Russian targets on the Bakhmut battlefield. Ukraine's armored vehicles have been pictured in heavy fighting behind Russia's main line of defense on the southern front in what could be the start of another push for Kiev. Ukrainian armored vehicles have smashed through a gap in Russian defenses on the Zaporizhia front, it has been reported. Eight-wheeled striker and tracked martyr infantry fighting vehicles were seen behind Russian tank traps and dragon's teeth near Verbov, suggesting a potential Ukrainian tactical breakthrough in the area. Russia analyst for the Institute for the Study of War, George Baros, said the news could mean Kyiv was preparing for another big push. In an update on X, formerly Twitter, he said, Ukrainian forces have brought heavy equipment, strikers and martyrs, beyond the anti-vehicle ditch and the dragon's teeth for the first time. Ukrainian forces have been widening their breach of the lines for the past several weeks and may be preparing for a new push. Earlier this month, Ukraine captured the village of Robotin and breached Russia's first and main line of defense on the southern front. For months, Ukrainian progress had slowed in the face of Russian tank traps, minefields and so-called dragon's teeth, large, triangular concrete blocks meant to impede armored vehicles. Kyiv has now been attempting to widen that breach, attacking south towards Novoprokopivka and southwest towards Verbov. Barros added, The Ukrainians in this video likely drove down a country road that creates a hole in the ditch and teeth lines. It indicates that Ukrainian forces have likely defeated local Russians' defense in this section of the line. The news of a fresh assault on the southern front comes amid good news for Kyiv in the east, where Ukraine's forces have seized the towns of Klishchivka and Andrivka near Bakhmut. Ukrainian sources have claimed that three of Putin's best brigades were virtually destroyed during the assault on Andrivka the 72nd Motor Rifle Brigade as well as the elite 31st and 83rd Air Assault Brigades were operating in the area, and ISW has suggested the airborne VDV brigades likely suffered heavy losses. In addition, reports from Russian soldiers fighting in the region suggest an under-equipped force sent in only to be savaged by Ukraine artillery, including cluster bombs. Russian commanders are said to be desperately throwing Russian troops to retake the key towns in the east, which sit on higher ground than Bakhmut. The ISW reported, Russian servicemen and mill bloggers revealed that the Russian military command orders Russian troops to carry out ill-conceived and unsupported counterattacks on Bakhmut's southern flank to urgently regain lost ground. Previously, there were reports that Moscow had moved forces from the Eastern Front to shore up its embattled defenses in the South. It's possible those movements weakened Russia's Eastern flank and allowed Ukrainian forces to exploit that weakness. Ukraine seized the key towns of Klishchivka and Andrivka amid heavy fighting on the Eastern Front, wiping out three of Vladimir Putin's best combat brigades. Ukraine has crushed three of Vladimir Putin's best combat brigades in the east of the country, according to a top general. General Oleksandr Sirsky lauded the recent capture of Klishchivka and Andrivka, located on higher ground near Bakhmut, as a key breakthrough on a front that has seen some of the war's heaviest fighting. Sirsky said in a statement on Telegram, In the fighting in the Bakhmut section, some of the enemy's best units have been crushed and have completely lost their combat power. The Russian brigades operating in the area include the 72nd Motor Rifle Brigade, as well as the elite 31st and 83rd Air Assault Brigades, 
which the general claimed were defeated and completely disabled. There have been previous reports that the 72nd Motor Rifle Brigade was essentially annihilated with three battalion commanders and a chief intelligence officer killed in the fighting, according to Ukraine's 3rd Assault Brigade. A full-strength Russian brigade can consist of anywhere between 2,000 and 8,000 soldiers. Fierce fighting continued around Bakhmut as depleted Russian forces launched counterattacks in an attempt to regain lost positions. But Sirsky said Ukrainian forces were holding the line. He added, After all, these small, at first glance, settlements were important elements of the enemy's defensive line, which stretched from Bakhmut to Horlivka, about 25 miles south of the city, the general continued. As a result of our troops' successful actions, the enemy's defensive line which it tried to close by throwing all available reserves into battle was breached, 